Melissa. In this video, I am going to show you how to print with your Roland BN20 or BN20A and cut with the 24 inch Caesar Romeo. So this is a really awesome workflow because as you know, the rolling cuts pretty slowly. However, you can print uh, your design from the Caesar software with registration marks that will also be printed with the Roland. And so you are then able to print and then cut, which will not only keep your roll in printing, which is the biggest benefit of the roll in, but it will also speed up your workflow because the Juliet is a much faster cutter. So let me show you how to do this. We're going to hop into the software. Um, okay, so here we are in Leonardo Design Studio. So the first thing that you're going to do is to set up your um, artboard. So we need to make this artboard so that it's large enough we can maximize the width of um, the 20 inch BN20 or BN20A. So first thing that we want to do is um, when we're in a new work area here in Caesars uh, Design Studio, we're going to click print and cut job. So when we click print and cut job, what that's going to do is it's going to give us this little um, drop down menu here. Now, it's literally just pulling um, the standard print sizes, which we obviously are not going to use. Um, so we wanna add our own. So you're gonna click on printer, and that is going to bring up your print settings. Now, I'm working on a Mac right now. Um, I'll later obviously transfer the PDF that we export to um, uh, a cloud, the G Drive, so that I can get it onto my PC to bring into VersaWorks. But right now I'm working on my Mac. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, create a custom paper size if you are, don't already have one. Now, what I have here is one that says 18 by nine. Really, ideally, you want one that's 18 by 18.8. 18 .8. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm just going to click here. Uh, let's see, you can just click Manage Custom Settings and create a new one. Um, so I am going to click one. The paper size is going to be 18.8. And then what you wanna do is decide how long um, you wanna print. Now, you know you can ultimately end up clipping in um, VersaWorks, but we're just going to, um, I'm gonna just put this as 15 for right now, okay? And then I will um, see if I can rename this, actually. I don't know if I can. Okay, it doesn't seem like it's wanting me to rename it right now, but um, once I have it, I'm gonna click OK. And what that's going to do is gonna change the work area here that I have in Leonardo um, Design Studio. So now my paper size or page size, material size is set up um, to work really well with the 20 inch Roland. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring in my designs. So for that, I'm just gonna go to File, Import File. So the files that I'm going to use are right here. Um, I have a bunch of PNGs and I'm gonna bring in a couple of them so you can see how this works, but you could do this with one um, or a whole set, although you do need to import one at a time. So we'll just bring the first one in and it's going to ask me, um, do I want it to be a background image or a print and cut? And I obviously want this to be print and cut, so I'm gonna just click next. Um, and then this, what this is doing in these steps right here is it is creating the cut contour lines, okay? It's basically tracing um, to create or vectorizing to create a cut contour. So just let it do its thing. And you can see there, that blue line there is the cut contour. So I'm just gonna click next. And it's asking me, do I want any type of offset? which I do not right now. You could if you wanted, if you wanted to bring it in, you could bring the inset in. There's a lot of really cool options here in um, Design Studio and it's letting you, um, it's giving you a lot of um, very helpful information and it's not, it's pretty intuitive here. Okay, so then what we're gonna do um, is click finished and this brings it into um, Leonardo Design Studio, as you can see, with the registration marks. Now, these marks are red, which means they are outside of the print and cut area, so I just need to bring it in. You can also see that right now my design is three by five. So if you wanna adjust the size of that, you just go ahead and do that, and the crop marks will go along with it. Now, let's say I wanna add um, another one. So I'm just gonna, again, do file import. I'll pull another one in and go through the same process. Okay, now what you're going to see is it doesn't put individual crop marks around this design. It just 
adds the crop marks, it just widens out the existing crop marks, okay, which is perfect. So again, I'm gonna change this one, and let's just add uh, one or two more. So it, let's say we wanna add another one of this. Um, I'm just gonna show you how to do that. So we're just gonna select the design that we have there, edit, and then you can do add copy. For some reason it's not, oops, let's go over here. It doesn't want me to do it. There we go, add copy. Um, and then I'll just add that right there. And it, as you can see, it pulls the registration marks out, okay? All right, let's add one more. This is really the most time consuming part. I, I wish that you were able to bring in more than one at a time, but right now um, with the Leonardo Design Studio being um, a pretty new software program, it you know it, they're adding features um, as quickly as possible, but it doesn't seem like bulk import is, is um, available right now. Now, one of the things that I do like about this process where we're gonna print on the BN and then cut on the um, Romeo, which is the 24 inch Caesar, is that I'm not messing around with cut contour lines for VersaWorks because VersaWorks is not going to need to um, be able to recognize any of the cut contour lines. Um, and so I can completely avoid that whole process, which for a lot of people is um, can be very, very time consuming. So this is a, not only going to save us time and not having to uh, create those cut lines for VersaWorks, but it's also going to um, allow us to keep the BN uh, printing and allow the Juliet or the Romeo, which is a much, much faster machine, um, to cut. It looks like I have room for one more, so we'll just add one more. Okay, so we are now ready. You could add as many as you want, but this is what I'm going to do just for the sake of this tutorial. So now what we're ready to do is we are ready to um, print this design. So we are going to click Send Design, okay? And then what we are going to do is we are just going to keep these default options, and we're gonna click Send, and don't worry that your printer is not listed, okay? That's okay. It's obviously not going to be listed here, all right? So what you wanna do is you wanna click Send to Printer, and you're gonna get this pop-up box where it's going to give you the option to save as a PDF. What that does is it saves with the registration mark. So we're gonna just call this dog stickers. Um, I'm gonna save it to my downloads folder and save, and it will now be on my computer. So let me just give you a quick, show you that dog sticker. So here's the PDF, whoa. Okay, so this is what we have now. If you're on a PC, you can go ahead and open this in, in uh, VersaWorks. I am on a Mac, so I need to pull this into Google Drive, and then on my PC, I'll download it, and then I will meet you in VersaWorks where we will open this. Okay, so here we are in Google Drive on my PC now, and so I'm just going to grab my uh, dog sticker PDF, and I'll download that, and... Now I'm going to move into VersaWorks. So in VersaWorks, I will just go to File, Add Job to Queue. I'm going to add it to a QE, which is the one I'm working in right now. Dog stickers, and this is going to open. Now, here are my dog stickers. So what you can see, there are no cut lines. It's special items would have those two A's, one or two A's here. If it had cut line information, it doesn't have any, which is fine because we are only printing. So we're going to right click on the file name in the queue and I'm going to go to settings and we're going to make a couple of adjustments here. So in layout, um, I want to do get media width. I have my computer hooked up to the Roland right now, so we're all set with that. That just makes sure that um, we have, you can see 18.8, that's that's perfect, which is the same reason that we made that page in Leonardo to be 18.8. Now, what you do not want to change is where right here where it says scale. You have to keep this exactly the same so that um, the Juliet will be able to find those registration marks. So don't change that at all. Okay, I'm going to go to quality. I'm just going to change this to draft um, so that it prints quicker for us for this tutorial. Um, <clears throat> we don't need file format. We don't need color adjustment. We printer controls. We don't need printer controls. We don't, we don't need cut controls. But what we do want to do is make sure that we change operation mode to print only so it's not doesn't cut. 
job management, not necessary, clip and tile. So you don't have to do this, but I do want to get rid of this white part here because it will just add time to the job. So if I do clip image and then I adjust the height here, um, you'll see that it pulls that up. And that's kind of what I was talking about. You could change the page size in Leonardo if you wanted so that it was you know, more in line with how large your stickers were, um, but you don't have to do that. Now, what I will caution is that you don't want to make it too close to the registration marks because the machine, um, the Leonardo or the um, Juliet or Romeo machine needs a little bit of room to work with. So don't put it too tight. I'm just going to leave a little bit there. Okay. And then I will click okay. And then all I need to do is rip and print. So I'm just going to click print and that will automatically rip at the same time. And that will then be ready at, once it's done printing, it will set us up to um, be ready to cut on the Romeo, which will be much, much faster than cutting on the Romeo. I mean, on the Roland. Okay, so once the printing is done on the Roland BN20 or BN20A, now you can cut this sheet off of here and we are, we can move it to the uh, Caesar Romeo, okay? So I actually like to um, pull just a little bit extra down so that I have a little bit of extra room to cut. Remember, this registration mark at the very bottom here, which is, sorry that it's hard for you to see, um, that registration mark is going to be the one that the Caesar machine needs to see first. So we want to just make sure that we have plenty of room there. So this is actually, um, so this is uh, Oracal 3165, which is a four mil vinyl. So this is going to be, uh, um, obviously the rolling could cut through it, but it's going to cut a little bit more slowly than if I was to cut with the Juliet, actually a lot less, a lot slower. So what the benefit of this is now I can keep printing with this while I'm over cutting with the Juliet. So that's gonna end up being my workflows, print, cut, print, cut, print, cut, okay? Okay, so we now have our printed sheet that we are ready to bring in, to bring uh, onto the Juliet. So again, this is a 24 inch cutter. Now, because it's a 24 inch cutter, I have one of the roll bars is basically over here or the uh, clips is basically over here. So there's a lever on the back that I'm gonna lift up, which is just going to allow me to move this one um, in. Let's see, oops, it went down so that I can move it in and that will allow it to grip a 20 inch material as opposed to 24. So then what we are going to do is we are going to put our material in. It's difficult to do this upside down. <laughs> and we have over here on the my right side is a little gray arrow, okay? That's where the edge of the material needs to be. Now, this registration mark at the very bottom that we talked about before, it's very small, but it has a small little arrow below it. That needs to be in the area of where the cutting, um, where the blade is, okay? So it's gonna find it. I'm actually gonna come around so I can try to do this this way. So I wanna make sure that I'm kind of about at this area. And once it's there, then I'm gonna lock these all back down, okay? Then from the control panel, I'm going to be checking to make sure that it's looking in the right spot for that registration mark. But before I do that, I need to switch over to the software and tell the software to send this to the cutter. So here back in uh, studio, or, um, Leonardo Design Studio, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click, I already did send to printer. So now I need to click on the cutting contour layer, okay? And I need to tell it that I want to uh, send to cutter. Now, if you have the use cutter settings checked, um, you might want to make some adjustments. So I know that for this material, the Oracle 3165, that's four mil, I need to increase the force to about 33. So unchecking that box and then I will allow me to change the speed and the force, I'm actually gonna speed it up as well. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say send to cutter. 
So once I click send to cutter, it's just asking me to confirm and I'm going to press yes. Then what it's going to do is it is going to look for that registration mark, okay? So once it begins the cutting process, once it sends to the cutter, um, I can go into settings and camera and it's going to begin looking for the registration marks. Okay, so once the cutting is done, I can then unload the material and I will be ready to weed. Now, there's obviously quite a bit of waste here that I am not going to waste. This is good white adhesive vinyl that can be used for other types of projects that aren't necessarily printed. So I'm actually gonna save that. Same with over here. Um, you know, it's just good scrap material, okay? Now, once we have that, I can then weed this um, set of stickers. And because I adjusted that, um, because I adjusted the force, it weeds really easily. You might have to punch out a little bit, but it, just to get it started. And then there is my sticker. So obviously I could use that for a water bottle or um, a window decal or a car or a helmet, whatever it is, um, you know, that you or your customer is looking for. This is a really, really nice option that you can combine the uh, Roland BN20 or BN20A with the uh, Caesar Juliet or Caesar Romeo, which is my preference because of uh, the 24 inch length. Uh, some of these steps, you're only gonna have to do the very first time, like setting up the page size. And then once you get this down, you're gonna see how awesome this is. Now, I also have other videos on how to use other cutting machines to do the cutting part, like a Silhouette Cameo Pro, which is also a 24 inch cutter. However, I really like the ability with the Romeo. For one thing, it's really, really good quality machine. It's a lower price than something like a Graph Tech or um, a GS24, which is the rolling cutting machine. So it's a really good option if you're looking to increase production by adding a cutter. All right, let's get started.